Hello, what I'd like to do now is um, take a look at some different examples. Now we're not actually going to solve the actual equations themselves, but the key here is can we write them down? Alright, so let's look at this circuit over here and see if we can write some mesh currents. Alright, so where are we? Well, I reckon we can write a mesh current down here. Let's call that the I1 mesh current. Write another one down here. We'll call that the I2 mesh current. And we'll write another one down here. And we'll call that the I3 mesh current. Now remember what I'm saying here is draw these always in the same direction. And then we're going to simply sum the voltages as we traverse around that mesh current. So let's have a go. So we're going to look at the I1 mesh. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and start here. We're going to travel in the same direct direction as the mesh current. So we're starting here. What have we got? We're going up in voltage here, so we call that 15. All right, so we're coming around like this. So mesh current going in this direction. So that's going from a plus to a minus. That would be our defined polarity across that 500 ohms. And so that would be a minus, would it not? And that would be I1 times 500. We come across this resistor here. Okay, so what have we got going on here? Well, we're traversing in the I1 mesh, so I1 leads, doesn't it not? So this is a minus, open up a bracket here. This would be I1, and this would be I1 minus what? The I2. So that's I1 minus I2, and that's multiplied by 1K. All right, continuing on down. So we now hit this what? This voltage source here. We're going from a plus to a minus, so we're falling. So that is a minus 25. And then we've got this last component over here. We've got I1 minus I3, have we not? So that's a minus I1 minus I3, and that's multiplied by 4K, and that is all equal to zero. Okay, so that's our first I1 mesh equation. Let's look at the next one, which is the I2 mesh. Okay, so here we go. So where will we start? Well, let's just start here. Okay, we're going in this direction. All right, so what do we have? Going in this direction, we have a minus, open up a bracket. This is I2 minus what? I1, and that's multiplied by 1K. All right, next component, the 3K. So this is a minus I2 times that 3K, and then we're to the last component here, which is the 2K, so that is a minus, open up a bracket, that is I2, I2, and let's see what's going on here. Is this going in the opposite direction, isn't it? Look at that, that's going this way, this is going this way, so it's an I2 minus I3, closing the bracket, times 2K is all equal to zero. All right, so that's our second mesh equation. Last one, which is the I3 mesh equation. So where do we want to start? Let's start right here. Okay, so we're going in this direction, I3, so that's a minus bracket, I3 minus I1, and that is multiplied by what? 4K. All right, we're going in this direction. I've got a voltage source here, so I'm going from a minus to a plus, so that becomes a plus 25. And then I'm coming across this component over here in the I3 direction, so that's a minus, open up a bracket, that is I3 minus the I2, that is multiplied by my, what, 2K resistor. And then finally, I've got, what, the 5K, and so that is, what, a minus I3 times 5K is all equal to zero. So what we have here basically are now three equations. You've got three unknowns, I1, I2, and I3. And so we could collect our terms together and we could look at various ways to actually solve those three simultaneous equations. We're not gonna do that here. The important point here is the circuit analysis, which was really defining or working out what each of these mesh currents actually is. Okay, so that's our first example. All right, have a look at this example over here. 
All right, now what have we got? We've got a 10 volt source here, we've got our resistors, but in this case, we have a little current source over here of five milliamps. Now what I suggest you do is take a little break and see if you can actually write down the mesh currents for this particular circuit over here. And then when you're ready, come on back and we'll work this problem together. Mm -hmm.